Five. Even after that attack, you're still standing in my way. Wow, you really are something special. But don't get cocky. Up until now, I've only been using a fraction of my real power. Let's see what your determination is against this. Okay. Goody. I, I can't get off act. Well, okay, well, fuck. You can't move your body. Huh. And dead. But not quite. Not quite. Never truly dead. Do I literally... Okay. Every time you die, your grip on this world slips away. Every time you die, your friends forget a little more. Your life will end here, in a world where no one remembers you. Oh. God. Still, you're hanging on? <laughs> That's fine. In a few moments, you'll forget everything, too. That attitude will serve you well in your next life. And dead. These are really hard to dodge. Still can't move, still can't do anything. <laughs> still. Come on. Show me what your determination is now. The whole world is ending. You can't move your body, nothing happened. You struggle, nothing happened. You try to reach your save file, nothing happened. Try it again to reach your save file. Nothing happened. Seems saving the game really is impossible. But maybe, with what little power you have, you can save something else. Yeah. Oh, Papyrus first. Always Papyrus. You reach out to Azrael's soul and call out to your friends. They're in there somewhere, aren't they? Within the depths of Azrael's soul, something's resonating. The lost souls appeared. Let's um Let's give a puzzle. You ask the lost soul for help with the puzzle. He doesn't know why, but he really wants to help you. I'm a scout sure human. You just give up, I did. Ah. I still have in my items. Recipe. You ask the lost soul to cook something for you. Lost soul is trying to hide its joy. And everyone will. Let's take a break. You ask the lost soul to take a break from fighting with you. Nods its head solemnly. Seems like it will. No, wait, you're my friend. I could never capture you. I'm rooting for you, kid. You feel something resonating within Azrael. Okay, let's get, um, Undyne next. The depths of Azrael's soul, something's resonating. Lost soul appears. Uh, you know what? Recipe. No, no, the fake hit. That was a big thing, wasn't it? You tap the lost soul lightly. Something about the way you fight is familiar to her. Let's get the recipe. Teach you how to cook. She doesn't know why, but she kind of wants to teach you how. You're a real enemy. The lost soul stands there. Hmm. Clash? You clashed against the lost soul with all your might. She recognizes your fighting spirit. Suddenly, memories are flooding back. Well, some humans are okay, I guess. I feel something resonating. Yes. Let's get Alphys out now. Lost soul appears in her, in her dress, of course. Oh, oh, oh sh shit, I wasn't... Fuck, I thought I was on act. 
No, I don't. I don't purposely hate you. This is what I meant to do. This is what I meant to do. Encourage. I'm going to continue to support you. Something about the way you say that is familiar to her. God, I've had enough of that one today. Uh, let's call. You call it so She starts to sweat. She doesn't know why, but this all seems very familiar. Nerd out. Uh, so what her favorite anime is? Anime. Suddenly memories come flying back. No, that's not true. My friends like me, and I like you too. You feel something resonating. Time for Toriel. The depths of Ah, uh, it's just mine. We get to Toriel. We get to both of them. Let's hug. You hug the lost soul and tell her that you're going to see her again. Something about this is so familiar to her. Mercy! You tell the lost soul that you won't hurt him, no matter what. Something about this is so familiar to him. Oh crap, I forgot about this. Oh, let's talk about the preferences. You tell the lost soul you prefer cinnamon instead of butterscotch. Somehow, she faintly recalls hearing this before. Talk. Tell the lost soul that you're going to save everyone. Something stirs within him. It's all flooding back. Your fate is up to you now. You are our future. You feel your friend's soul resonating within Azrael. Someone else. Strangely, as your friends remember you, something else began resonating within the soul. Stronger and stronger. It seems that there's still one last person that needs to be saved. But who? Suddenly, you realize. You reach out and call their name. Huh? What are you doing? Is it Asriel? I feel like it's Asriel. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so it's Azrael. And what it, it seems like what really happened is that Echo Me was the one who fell down and is the human from the stories. So why. It's not. Why don't they remember me? What did you do? What's this feeling? What's happening to me? No, no! I don't need anyone. Uh, let's not die. Stop it. Get away from me. Do you hear me? I'll tear you apart. Hmm. Echo, do you know why I'm doing this? Why I keep fighting to keep you around? I actually don't know. I'd like to know. Does that mean I... Do I disappear or something? Because the stories say I died. The stories say I died and that I can't... I can't come back. Well, they don't say that I can't come back. It's because you're special, Echo. You're the only one that understands me. You're the only one who's any fun to play with anymore. You keep missing me. So if... So Echo's died, and presumably he's playing with him just to keep him around? Or is the memories of his death and everything, and Echo's death, just a mist- like, 
Something that never happened? Fabrications? No. That's not just it. I... I... I'm doing this because I care about you, Echo. I care about you more than anyone else. I'm not ready for this to end. I'm not ready for you to leave. Oh, just so I don't leave? I'm not ready to say goodbye to someone like you again. So please, stop doing this and just let me win. Oh, no, point 0.5, point 0.1, point 0.01, point 0.001. Stop it now. Point many zeros one. Echo. I'm so alone, Echo. I'm so afraid, Echo. Echo. I. I. I'm so sorry. I always was a crybaby. Wasn't I, Echo? I know. You're not actually Echo, are you? Echo's been gone for a long time. Um, what? What is your name? Frisk? That's... A nice... What? No, my name's Echo! Oh, so this is just some random human that's calling... That's been called Echo constantly for some... Is that why no one seemed to call me Echo? Is that why, like, no one actually called me Echo throughout the game? And it was really just him? Maybe, I think. I don't remember all the instances, but fine. Frisk. I haven't felt like this for a long time. As a flower, I was soulless. I lacked the power to love other people. However everyone's souls inside me. I not only have my compassion back, but I can feel every other monster's as well. They all care so- they, they all care about each other so much. And they care about you too, Frisk. God damn it, that's a weird name. I wish I could tell you how everyone feels about you. Papyrus, Sans, Undyne Alphys, Toriel. Monsters are weird. Even though they barely know you. Feels like they already really love you. <laughs> uh, Frisk, I... I understand if you can't forgive me. I understand if you hate me. I acted so strange and horrible. I hurt you. I hurt you. I hurt so many people. Friends, family, bystanders. There's no excuse for what I've done. Why would I not? What could even possibly happen if I don't forgive him? What? what? Frisk, come on. You're... You're gonna make me cry again. Besides, even if you do forgive me, I can't keep these souls inside me. The least I can do is return them. But first, there's something I have to do. Right now, I can feel everyone's hearts beating as one. They're all burning with the same desire. With everyone's power, with everyone's determination. It's time for monsters to finally go free. was destroyed. Frisk, I have to go now. Without the powers of everyone's soul, I can't keep maintaining this form. In a little while, I'll turn back into a flower. I'll stop being myself. I'll stop being able to feel love again. So, Frisk, 
It's best if you just forget about me, okay? Just go with the people who love you. Of course I'm gonna comfort him. This game basically wants me to do this every single time. <laughs> I... I don't want to let go. Frisk is fat. Frisk, you're... You're going to do a great job, okay? No matter what you do, everyone will be there for you, okay? Well, my time's run out. Goodbye. By the way, Frisk, take care of Mom and Dad for me, okay? Frisk, this is all just a bad dream. Please, wake up. Oh, someone other than... Someone's actually calling me Frisk. Oh, you are awake. Thank goodness. We were so worried. Felt like you were out forever. Yes, yeah, and any longer would, I would have freaked out. Tell us next time you decide to take a nap, okay? Yeah, made Babbers cry like a baby. What? I didn't cry. I don't cry. I just caught something in my eye. What did he catch? Cheers! <laughs> no, no. The important part is that Frisk is alright. Here, Frisk. Why not drink some tea? It'll make you feel better. Uh, how about we give them space first? They must be very exhausted. Though from what, I am not certain. Frisk. We do not remember, remember exactly what happened. There was a flower, and then everything went white. But now the barrier is gone. When you are ready, we will all return to the surface. It seems the door to the east will lead us there now. Before then, perhaps we might want to take a walk. You can say goodbye to all your wonderful friends. Do as you wish, we will all wait for you here. You know what? I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go talk to people like Papyrus. So, Asgore, how about making a mem? How about making me a member of the royal guard? Well, Papyrus, now that the war is over, we might not need the royal guard anymore. What? Then what was the point of the humans' quest? They journey all that way, and I'm still not a member of the royal guard. Truly, this is the worst possible ending. Indeed, the other ending you got in it. <laughs> so, Alphys, what do you want to do now that we're all free? I have the whole world to explore now. Well, of course I'm going to go out and... Um, no, no, I should be honest. I'm going to stay inside and watch anime like a total loser. That's the spirit. Everyone, a celebration to being losers. <laughs> Papyrus has the right idea. Losing to Frisk is the best thing that ever happened to me. I'm so glad that we... <laughs> what is it, Asgore? Um... What's an... Anime? Oh my god! Frisk, please... Help me explain what anime is to Asgore! You see, it's like a cartoon, but... With swords. Oh, it's like a cartoon, but with swords. Golly, that sounds neato. But where is this? Where can I see the anime? Uh, hold on, uh, I think I have some on my phone. Here, look at this. Oh, um, um, that's the, that's the wrong. Uh, never mind. 
Macaulay. Were those two robots? Kissing. Boy, technology is something, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it sure is. Goody. Uh, psst, Frisk, um, you gotta tell me. Do, do you think Asgore and Toriel are, um, are we gonna get back together? You know what? Probably not. They don't seem to... Well, Toriel really doesn't seem to like her, and I think... Yeah, I sort of think Sans and Toriel are gonna get together. Yeah, that's what I thought. A woman can dream, though, right? And write fanfiction. A lot of fanfiction. Oh, God. Oh, hey. What's up, Frisk? Yeah, just talking about you. Apparently, you asked to call Tori Mom right after meeting her. Nope, I, I was joking. I was joking. <laughs> well, it was not right after. It took a couple minutes. Risk, I gotta tell you. That's, um, not the best way to get to know someone. It's not? Barbarous, we've been over this. Whatever, Mom. <laughs> Don't talk back to me like that. Go to your room, Papyrus. Okay, Undyne. Wait, don't actually go to your room. I'm getting mixed messages here. Hello, Frisk. Alphys upgraded my phone. I'm having a lot of fun with the texting feature. Sans, check out this one. Oh man, Tori. That's brutal. I can't believe the Queen has returned. And also that she's a huge dork. You two are feet away from each other. Why are you texting? Worry not, Papyrus. We are texting for a good reason. Why is that? Well, because we're huge dorks. Shans, please do not say that. You are not a dork. You are more of a bonehead. <laughs> wow. Those puns are even less running coming from her. Why are you smiling? It's a pity smile. Oh gee, Frisk. Sorry about almost trying to take your soul. I feel very bad about it. I hope we can still be pals. Hey, don't worry about it, Asgore. I think everybody's tried to give Frisk at least once. Oh, I see. In that case, I'm not sorry, Frisk. <laughs> Asgore, that's not what I meant. Ah. Uh. Oh my goodness. Was that the final battle? I feel like this is the after party. The coffin is empty. You didn't notice before, but there's something like mummy wrappings at the bottom of it. So clearly, this coffin wasn't meant for me. Because I'm Frisk, not Echo. I'm not Echo. God damn it, game. Why? That is one hell of a. You let me name my character and I'm not- it's not even the name of my character. God damn it. Oh, let's- let's talk about it. Let's talk about stuff. Super free, huh? Minotan told me as much. And he told me, don't think that means you're getting out of work early. Ah, <laughs> uh, my boss. I love that guy. And by that, I mean I hate him. So, so much more. Those girls? The ones who saw my pants fall down? Well. We're all gonna be free, so I'll never see them again. At least. All right, I never, I never fixed their relationship in this one. That's a shame. Don't tell anyone this, little buddy, because they'll make fun of me. But I, uh, I feel like I played a hand in everyone getting free somehow. Even though it's just working this awful job, I think I did something. I don't know if it's true, but I believe it anyway. Little buddy, there's a brand new world out there waiting for us. I'm sure with my <laughs> classifications, it won't be long before I'm a famous movie star. Or maybe I'll just end up flipping burgers again. But, it's as I say, nowhere to go but up, literally in this case. Uh, goodbye, best character. Anytime, little buddy. So, we're like, totally free now, huh? Yeah, like, totally free. Like, cool. Yeah, like, cool. Like, Millennia of being in prison finally over? Yeah, that's like pretty chill, I guess. Oh, oops, really? You're human? Oh, well, <laughs> when we said, um, we were hyped for the destruction of humanity, 
We were like, just like joking, you know? Did we say that? Probably. It's like practically our catchphrase. Really? I thought our catchphrase was like, Braddy's the best, Caddy's the coolest. Oh, <laughs> no. We've like literally never said that. Oh, can it be though? Can it be? Uh, hmm. Now that we're gonna be free. Oh, gee, we can finally fulfill our dream of having a pet cat. That's like your dream, Caddy. But, Braddy, I don't wanna have a dream without you in it. Aw, Caddy. Uh, and in my dream, you clean up after the cat. Oh, Caddy, you're so Caddy. Do you like cats? Me? Yeah, I love cats. They're like so tasty, cute. <laughs> Braddy, no! I'm just kidding. Kind of. Anyway, when was the last time you even saw a cat around here? Oh, just the other day. There was this cute little white cat walking around. It was like so clueless looking. I pet it for like an hour. Caddy? Yeah, Braddy? I think that was like a dog. <laughs> Dogs are just firm cats. Uh. What do you think, ice cream guy? I'm so excited to sell ice cream to on the surface. If all the humans are like you, I think it'll be the I think it'll be a modest success. Indeed, that is a complete possibility. Is Asgore a goat? Eh? Goat? Actually, that reminds me, Torio once wore a flower pattern moo moo. Folks keep saying nice moo moo to her, but she kept thinking that they were calling her a cow. So she never wore it again. What's the question again? Oh, right. Asgore. He's a real interesting type of monster, the strongest type of all. We call him boss, boss monsters. When they have offspring, their sole power of the parents flows into the child, causing the child to grow as the parents age. But Asgore doesn't have a child, so he's been stuck at the same age. Probably will be forever. Huh? What if the child is a human? What? Nah, that wouldn't work. So if Asgore is your father, he'll definitely outlive you. Hmm. Oh yeah, of course. Toria was queen and Asgore was the king. It was tragic when she left. So everyone knew she was really the brains behind the throne. But it was really just a teensy, teensy bit relieving, you know? Those two were really insufferable together, nuzzling noses, being all cute and cuddling in public, bears and the children. They're so sweet it made me sick. Thank god those days are over. Uh, yeah, okay, why fluffy buns? Okay, okay, I remember clearly now. It was the monthly address at the castle, and the queen was giving her part on current events. After finishing her update, she moved to pass the microphone to the king. However, she didn't realize the microphone was still in her hands when she said, Your turn, fluffy buttons. The audience burst into laughter. Realizing what she had said, she started laughing too. After a few moments, the king held up his arms. The crowd grew silent. He leaned towards the microphone, expression stern. Dear citizens, thank you for coming here today. I, King Fluffy Buns, and the rest is history. Undyne, she's really come a long way since she was a little urchin. I used to be a hero myself back in the old days, Gerson the Hammer of Justice. But when she was younger, Undyne would follow me around to watch me beat up bad guys. Sometimes she'd even try to help. Though, most of the time, the folks she attacked weren't bad guys. It'd be a mailman or something like that. Anywho, I appreciated it. <laughs> uh, oh, Medicine. Oh, is this your house? These are yours, Frisk darling. Feast your eyes, Dr. Alpha's completed my wonderful new body. Oh, and did you hear? The barrier's open. I can't wait to see the sun. The greatest spotlight of all. Oh, yes. I suppose I should thank you too, darling. Before fighting you, I had forgotten how fun it was to perform with others. So I've been searching for hot talents to fill my upcoming troop. So far, Shiren's agreed to be my backup singer. And BL, Napstabluk here, will be my sound mixer. The three of us performing together. It really feels overdue, doesn't it? Uh, th I mean, that's totally the combination I expected from the beginning. Oh, Meditant, I'm a huge fan. Oh, hi, human. 
I'll never forget when you cheered me on. When I was pretending to sleep. No one had ever had so much faith in my fake sleep. Uh, also, this is awkward, but... What's your name? Everyone seems to know it now, except me. Seems like I've been missing out lately. I was just sitting at home listening to tunes. There was a flash of light outside my window. I saw the snails on the farm disappear. Then I heard a knock at the door. A flash of light wanted to come in and I closed the blinds. Now everyone knows your name except me. Frisk, okay. I won't forget it. Do you remember my name? Your name? Frisk, I didn't forget. Because I cried the letters into my hand. You don't have hands. Ghosty, you don't have hands. Or naps to look. I think I remember your name now. Huh? Huh? Hey, Tummies, what do you think of being free? Yep, very good news. Great news, yep. What about you, Mushroom Man? Mushroom Dance, Mushroom Dance, whatever could it mean? It symbolized my unbridled happiness. The government told me they are willing to transplant me outside. Why didn't you smile at my dance? It almost feels a little rude. I don't smile. I don't even open my eyes. Oi, I'm Tammy. About Tammy Armor. Tem Armor, so good. Any battles become easy victories. But um, Tem think if you use Armor Battle, it would be, wouldn't be a challenge anymore. But Tem has a solution. Tem will offer a skier ship. If you use lots of battles, Tem will lower the price. If you get too frustrated and feel frustrated, you can buy Tem Armor as last resort. But Tem Armor is so good. Promise to only buy if you really need it. Speaking of which, the price went down to 2000 I clearly have lost way too much. <laughs> uh, hey, the fuck is this? It's the abomination, greater dog. <laughs> I hope you guys are doing well. All of our parents have been combined into one horrible being. That's okay, though. It's really... It's really brought our families together. That's your parents? Oh, God. That's just... I don't know if that's horrible or not. One last attempt to get into San's room. One last attempt. Still locked. It finally won a game... It finally won a game of poker against itself? Good job. Yo, what's up? I've been kind of doing some thinking. Maybe Undyne isn't actually as cool as we thought. She's just kind of mean. But you... I just found, but yo, I just found some. I just found about something way, someone way cooler. Nah. Oh God, it's Papyrus. Nah, dude. No, yeah, no, we have the same tradition. Don't worry. The kid over there told me that it's weird I have a pet bunny. First, there's nothing weird about it. It's cute. Second, what? It's normal to walk your younger brother around on a leash, right? No. No, it's not. Ah, uh, I think I've talked to everyone I feel like talking to. It seems like you really butchered your quest, Risk, but I, the Great Papyrus, will always be your friends. No matter how, you, no matter how hard you try to get rid of him. Hey, that's true. <laughs> hey, Alphys, Alphys, do you think we can watch, some, uh, watch something with fighting next? Oh, and then something... With princesses? Or fighting princesses? I'll see if I can manage to find anything like that, Undyne. Yay. On second thought, maybe I won't write fanfic of real people. I mean, isn't real life already the greatest fanfiction of all? Um, don't tell anyone I said that. Because I'm going to post it online. Risk, I just realized. Now that we aren't fighting each other... I can finally ask you, would you like a cup of tea? Would you like a cup of tea? Sure. Oh, well, actually, <laughs> the cup I had is cold now, so you shouldn't have it. But I am so happy you said yes. 
As soon as I can, I will make some more for you. Then we can be great pals. Yep, that's how you become friends, you share tea. Sorry, I don't have time to talk for this. I'm supposed to be working right now. But you aren't working. I know. It's taking all my concentration. Frisk, do not feel left out. I have been writing messages to you as well. You still have my phone number after all this time. Do you not? Oh. Papers and Undyne. No response. Their phone might be out of batteries. Toriel's. Notice you received a text from Toriel. Dear Frisk, sounds... Sons in office are teaching me how to text. I am learning so much. For example, do you know what a smiley is? Please look at this. Now turn your head to the left. It is a picture of me smiling at you. Can you see it? Hello, <laughs> well. That stands for lots of laughter. Sincerely, Toriel. That is not what it stands for. That's all for now. Maybe in the next room you will receive... That's all for now. Maybe in the next room you receive another. Oh, okay. Okay, well, I've talked to everyone I want to talk to. Multiple times, some of them. So I think there isn't anything else for me to do. Toria sent you a message. Uh, message. Dear Frisk, how are you? You have been wandering around for quite some time now. I hope you are not getting into trouble. Only kidding, hello well. Sincerely, Toriel. P.S. Do not get into trouble. I won't. If you leave here, your adventure will really be over. Your friends will follow you out of the underground. I'm ready. If there's something I'm missing, then... Whoopsie daisy. Isn't it beautiful, everyone? Wow, it's even better than than on TV. Way better. Better than I ever imagined. Frisk, you live with this? The sunlight is so nice, and the air is so fresh. I really feel alive. Hey, sons. What's that giant's ball? We call that the sun, my friend. That's the sun? Wowee. I can't believe I'm finally meeting the sun. I could stand here and wait to watch this. I could stand here and watch this for hours. Yes, it is beautiful, is it not? But we should really think about what comes next. Oh, right. Oh, right. Everyone, this is the beginning of a bright new future. An era of peace between humans and monsters. Okay, let's be realistic here. One, you've only ensured the peace between one human and monsters. I, I just I just feel the need to point that out. Risk. I have something to ask of you. Would you act as our ambassador, ambassador to the humans? What if I say no? What would the possible implications of, be, of saying no be? Uh, yeah, I will. Yes, Frisk will be the best ambassador, and I, the great Papyrus, will be the best mascot. I'll go make a good first impression. No, Papyrus, come back. Eh, someone's got to keep him from getting into trouble. See, guys, you're going the wrong way, Sans. <laughs> you're going the wrong way. Man, do I have to do everything? Papyrus, wait. Hey, Undyne, wait up! Whoops. <laughs> uh, shall I do something? <laughs> she is, she is. He is so whipped. <laughs> well, gotta go. It seems that everyone is quite eager to set off. Frisk, 
You came from this world, right? So you must have a place to return to, do you not? What will you do now? Yes, yeah, see? Uh, I don't mind being the ambassador, but... At the same time... This probably is a very inconsequential thing, but I... It seems appropriate to say I want to stay with you. It seems appropriate. What? Frisk. You really are a funny child. If you had said that earlier, none of this would have happened. It is a good thing you took so long to change your mind. <laughs> well, I suppose. If you really do not have any other place to go, I will do my best to take care of you for as long as you need. Alright? Now, come along. Everyone is waiting for us. Oh, a true actual ending. End credits? Okay, now they're moving. Now they're moving. Well, um, next is the genocide ending. <laughs> this was a real feel-good ending, wasn't it? So, I, I suppose we're just gonna have to, you know, <laughs> drop that charade. Oh, the genocide ending's gonna be a... gonna be something else. Oh my! <laughs> uh, it, was Tammy an actual person? I feel as though Tammy's an actual person, based on that. So... What do they mean by cast here? Are they saying just the people who designed them? Or the people who wrote their dialogue? Maybe? Okay. Um... So yeah, the gameplay was real interesting. One of the most interesting things about Undertale is the fact that the gameplay is so intrinsically part of the narrative, and that's something you don't see very often in video games. Wow. You know, I did not see that Undyne and Alphys. <laughs> I did not see that Undyne and Alphys uh, ship going. I never expected that. I never expected that to happen. Okay, so I you might have noticed I skipped parts of the credits. It's because my recording quit on me. <laughs> Just like, I got to a, like, three and a half hour mark on my recording. Yes, I've been recording for a while. The credits were ending, and it, it just quit on me in the middle of the credits. Thank goodness it didn't quit on me earlier, but... So, the credits were ending, it was like the end, and it was like, flash, flash, and then this comes up. What do you want, Asriel? <laughs> Did you really think it was over? I mean, we haven't even done the special thanks yet. Ready? Let's end all of this for good. Oh, uh, crap, 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 oh my goodness. I mean, I have... Oh, is, oh, this was a Kickstarter project, wasn't it? So are, are these the, all the um, Kickstarter backers? Because that I guess that would, that would make a lot of sense. I mean, there's not really much point in me controlling it at the moment.
It's gonna be a butterscotch pie, isn't it? Ah. Okay, now what? Can I can I do things now? Do I have to like quit or something? Oh, doggy. Hi. Seems as if everyone is perfectly happy. Monsters have returned to the surface. Peace and prosperity will rule across the land. Take a deep breath. There's nothing left to worry about. Well, there is one thing. One last threat. One being with the power to erase everything. Everything everyone's worked so hard for. You know who I'm talking about, don't you? That's right. I'm talking about you. You still have the power to reset everything. Toriel, Sans, Asgore, Alphys, Pappers, Undyne. If you, so, if you so choose, everyone will be ripped from this timeline and sent back before all of this ever happened. Nobody will remember everything, anything. You'll be able to do whatever you want. That power. I know that power. That's the power you're fighting to stop, wasn't it? The power that I wanted to use. But now... The idea for setting everything. I don't think I could do it all again. Not after that. So please, just let them go. Let Frisk be happy. Let Frisk live their life. But if I can't change your mind, if you do end up erasing everything, you have to erase my memories too. I'm sorry. You've probably heard this a hundred times already, haven't you? Well, that's all. See you later. Echo? Huh. So... Ooh. Ooh, true reset. It has to be a true reset too, doesn't it? Yes, I'm gonna take candy. <laughs> I took the candy. <laughs> uh, too little, too late, eh? <laughs>